a secret jailhouse meeting, quote, in motion. Ty Mom's defense wants to bend the rules, demanding special treatment behind bars for a private meeting alone and without surveillance with her parents and brother. Joe Schmo walking down the block that's seen this every day on the media for the last month. I can understand everybody else's side of this, but the worst part is, is that nobody can see my side. Jose Bias will also interview two Orange County jail officers who reportedly witnessed Casey's reaction to news that skeletal remains were found near her family's home. If they play it right, look at this. This is a mother. This is a human being. Baez wants to depose one of Casey Anthony's best friends in middle school, Keo Marie Cruz. Casey, one time, was considering giving up little Kaylee for adoption. Was there ever talk of um, Casey talking to you about uh, giving up Kaylee for adoption? No. There were certain times in the past where she would bring Kaylee to parties where they would be drinking and playing poker. She would put Kaylee down on a, on a couch nearby and she would sleep through the whole thing. Wheels are in motion, they say, for an Anthony family meeting behind bars. Local media reports Cindy and George Anthony requested the gathering to mourn the loss of Kaylee Anthony. I have to keep my mouth shut about how I feel and with everything else because all I need to do is give the media more stuff, throw back in my face when this goes to trial. She said to me, Jose, I'm innocent. I'm going to walk out of this place with my head high. Straight out to Mark Williams, anchor and reporter. Mark, what's the latest? Well, the latest, of course, is that George and Cindy Anthony would like to have a private jailhouse meeting with daughter Cindy Anthony. The last time they met was August 14th. However, it, nobody believes that that meeting will ever happen. Jail uh, corrections officer, office spokesman Alan Moore tells us that uh, no special uh, meeting will take place. It's just not allowed under jail rules. They have had other highly uh, touted individuals here like boy band entrepreneur uh, Lou Perlman and former NASA astronaut Lisa Nowak. They never got any special uh, uh, considerations. And now uh, another thing that happened is that there was a report that they wanted to have a small memorial service for little Kaylee inside the jail. That will not happen either. Their attorney, Brad Conway, says there's been no wheel set in motion for that. Also, uh, defense attorney Jose Baez has uh, t other depositions on tap scheduled for uh, a period of time, and uh, those are coming up soon. It could include Tony Lazaro, who is uh, Casey Anthony's ex-lover. Okay, let me get something straight, Mark. The attorney for the Anthony's say no such private meeting is in motion. Other, then where did that come from? Uh, that came from, from Brad Conway, uh, especially about the memorial service. Uh, and it's against jail rules to have any sort of a, a private meeting. Uh, as you know, uh, the only person that's allowed to have any sort of a private meeting, Nancy, is the client and the... Uh, his, her, his or her attorney. Those are the only folks uh, able to have a private meeting. And it's not the parents, not the brother, nobody else. Out to Natisha Lance, our producer on the story from the very beginning. This has been rumbling for some time that they want to have a secret jailhouse funeral. Correct me if I'm wrong, Natisha, but little Kelly's remains have yet to be buried. They had the big public to do the memorial. Uh, thousands, nearly 2,000 people came. There was singing. Uh, there were secret coded messages sent from Brother Lee Anthony to Casey Anthony behind bars. But still, the child's remains are sitting in a container yet to be buried. What's this about a jailhouse funeral? And am I correct, Natisha, that they want to meet away from any surveillance, no plastic plexiglass between them, no security cameras, nothing? That's impossible. Well, the first thing with the funeral, Nancy, we don't know for sure, at least according to the public, it has not been made aware whether or not they have had a funeral for Kaylee or not. What we do know is that her remains have been cremated. Now, as far as this jailhouse meeting that is supposed to take place, yes, it is something that they would like to do in person with George, Cindy, and Lee Anthony. The jail is saying it's not going to happen. Brad Conway is saying they just want to have a meeting with their daughter, no service, no requiem or anything like that, but they just want to see their daughter. And at this point, the jail is saying it's not going to happen. Uh, we are taking your calls live out to Netta in Virginia. Hi, dear. 
Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm good, dear. What's your question? Your babies are beautiful, let me say. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. What's well, your question, love? Well, Nancy, I know that the top mom and the baby live with her grandparents. Right. So I'm not understanding, being a grandmother myself, how your grandkids can go missing for 31 days before you yourself would have questions or call the police. And then why would you go and ask and be given immunity? It just seems to me that they're more worried about protecting their daughter from the consequences than finding out what really happened to the baby. Netta in Virginia, so many people agree with you. Let's go to our chief editorial producer, Ellie Jostad. Ellie, what about it? Well, that's true, Nancy. Everybody is wondering what Tony Lazaro is going to say. Uh, what he is doing is he told police back in uh, July that Casey Anthony was staying at his home after July 5th and that she would wake up in the middle of the night in cold sweats. Back to you. Back to he you. also said that he would pick her. He's the one who picked her up at the Amscot on June 27th.